the dual court system. Question time. Let's do it. Identify the vocab word, which means the division of powers divided between the national and state governments. You should know this off the top of your head at this point. Federalism is correct. Noise. If the national and state governments can both make up laws, that means they would both need their own court system so they can interpret what the law means. They can judge to see if someone has broken that law. So the dual court system is referring to the national court system and the state court systems. Ever notice a lot in movies and television that like the local police are mad when the FBI show up? It's all about jurisdiction. They don't want to lose the case. It's kind of like Pulp Fiction. Different courts have their own jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is the right to hear a case. So you have to follow the laws of the national government and the state you're in too. So depending on the laws you break will determine if you end up in federal court or state court. Let's look at some of the crimes that could land you in federal court. Like counterfeiting money, mail fraud, kidnapping, patent or copyright conflicts. State courts are there to enforce state laws like punishing people for driving under the influence, settling contract disputes, protecting individuals' personal property. Some bank robbers find themselves in quite the pickle. They're in trouble for breaking national and state law simultaneously. Concurrent jurisdiction. Word on the street is they'll just send you to the court system with the harshest penalties. So maybe you shouldn't break the laws, you brainiac. So the national court system and the state court system are two separate entities. However, the federal court does have the power to rule on the constitutionality of state court decisions. Now you have an understanding of how federalism affects the court system. I'm gonna go, be careful out there, follow the laws. You know they'll throw the book at you, and it'll hurt. Later!